Hi, I'm Mallory, and I'm a Tired Beauty Glam Ambassador, and I've got something super excited to show you today. It is the Menage a Brow from Tired Beauty. Now, this is the first ever dual-sided, three-prong eyebrow pen. Try to say that five times fast. Let me tell you. It has three different colors. There's blonde, brunette, and blackish brown, so you will literally cover all skin tones, all eyebrow colors, all whatever there is in this world with these three products. I'm so excited to show you, so let's get started. I always like to focus in the front first because I feel like that's where a lot of the, the depth, the drama is going to be. Because um, if I made my eyebrows too thick out here, then I might make them too thick in the front or too thin vice versa. Go ahead and start with a three prong end. And I'm gonna very lightly start at the front of my brow and just kiss the very little hairs in my brow. I like to start at the bottom and kind of flip up and I'm following my own natural growth to my brow. So once my eyebrow starts going to the side, I'm gonna physically move the three prongs to the side of the brow. And I personally like my brows to be a little up because they naturally go up in the front and then they lay down. So I just kind of rock it. Live your life, do, do you. And very lightly, I'm just gonna now turn it and drag this through right to the body of my brow. So at this point, you can either just continue on and drag the three prong all the way to the end, or if you wanted to give a little bit more definition, you can use the angled end and use just a little bit on the, the arch And I'll show you here. And a little bit through the tail. You guys can kind of see how easy that is to just clean up. But what's nice about this product too is it's super, super long wear. So, I mean, if you have someone who doesn't have a lot of eyebrows or you've overplucked your eyebrows, you don't have to worry about your brows just like disappearing if you're like sweating or you know, you're at the gym or you're shopping, it's, it's going to stay in place all day. And just a little tie-tie tip, you guys. To keep this look as soft as possible, you can use a three-prong end all the way from the body to the end, and that will give you more of a natural look, almost like a done but undone look, and you kind of see how this just looks so natural. It doesn't look like I really have anything in my brows. And this is just a little bit more defined. So that's your natural brows. So now I'm going to show you how to get defined brows with Menage Brow. So just like the natural brows, I already did the very front end of my brows with a three prong end. I very lightly just kiss the very tips of it, um, make li little like hair like strokes all through my, make little hair like strokes all the way to the body of my brow. So from here, I want to add a little bit more definition. I want them to look a little cleaner and maybe not so undone. So now I'm gonna take the angled end of the Menage a Brow. And I like to start now at the, the arc of my brow on the very bottom. Instead of necessarily swiping it out and down to the end, what I wanna do is take the angled part of it and I wanna press it and almost pull up and out. So that will kind of give me defined brows without looking completely painted on. And I leave spaces in between. I'm not necessarily connecting one, I'm not necessarily connecting one line to the other because I still want there to be space in between the brow. Um, when I'm gonna do more of a bold brow, that's when I would actually wanna let there be a more defined line. But right now I still want them to look natural, but just a little bit more fancy. So that is pretty much it with this brow. So let's go ahead and move on to the other one. So again, I'm gonna start at the body, the, the arch of the brow, and have it slant. I'm using the angled end to just kind of press down and pull up. Okay, so this is your defined brows. Now it's time to show you how to get fierce, bold brows. I'm going to use my Menage Brow in the color Burnett. 
I kissed my brows just a little longer this time in the front ends using my three prong side. So now I'm going to get fancy on you guys and I'm going to show you the angled end. And this look, I actually want my brows to look very sharp and very defined. So I'm going to cheat the bottom of my brow just a little bit. And this time I'm going to actually swipe out. And then I'm going to use this to drag. This goes on so easy. <gasps> what? And just to fill in a little sparse areas in my hair, I'm going to flip it. So the angled part, I don't know how to do this. Let's see. So the angled part of it is a finer tip. So I can just sneak, sneak attack. Sneak it in there. It's like a little ninja. You don't even know what's coming, but there you go. So just like on the bottom, I'm going to use the angled end really just on the arch. Just to kind of outline them. And then what I like to do is take my plain mascara wand, my blank mascara wand, or my eyebrow brush, and just kind of brush that through so there's really no harsh lines even though we still want it to look very defined. So we still want it to look sharp without it looking painted. And I just need to cheat this a little bit more right here, the angled edge. And that's some fierce brows for you. Brows on fleek, y'all.